Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to show you a bit of my uh, radioactive mineral display. As some of you know, I do collect minerals as well. And radioactives is pretty safe to have in your collection as long as you, you know, you uh, do your due diligence and practice the proper safety precautions. You know, don't, don't keep your collection under your bed <laughs> or... Uh, you know, in places where you live. This is in the far corner of my basement. Hardly anybody goes down here. And the background radiation is just a tick above what the normal background radiation is. So it's pretty safe. I got my my um, Geiger counter here. It's also a... Um, uh, I can't remember the name of it. But it just follows the, the background radiation, but I can also use it as a Geiger counter, kind of. So anyway, here we go. Um, these are all from Ontario. Uh, so first off, we'll start with uh, some Betaphyte crystals. These are pretty radioactive. That's a pretty big specimen. It's got a bunch of nice uh, crystals all squashed together. There's some smaller ones. Don't really look like much um, unless you like radioactive minerals. Um, this one here, I'm pop this out. I'm wearing gloves just because I don't want to get any any of the dust. On me. This one here, these are all from the um, Silver Crater Mine in Cardiff Township. And this one here is pretty cool. It's a little combination of some beta fights with, with uh, some little brown zircon attached to it. Let's see if I can get a better. Focus for you here. There you go. Now you can see those zircons. Pretty common for zircon to be uh, associated with uh, betaphyte at the Silver Crater. And this was a floater. It was just in a little little pocket. So there's not really anything in the way of damage to it. There's a, a tiny little one on Matrix, which is hard to find. Let me turn this off. It's starting to drive me nuts. There. Okay, here we have, uh, these are from the McDonald mine, which has now been filled in. Um, me and my buddy Michael Adamowitz, <clears throat> you might know. Um, we uh, rock hound uh, quite often together. Um, these are sertilite zircons. They're slightly radioactive. They're pretty much metamicked, which means there's not really much in the way of crystal form anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there, some of them do have a bit, but the radioactivity has destroyed the original structure of the crystal. So they're like a reddish brown in color. Pretty cool. I'm still see they still got like a a chisel point like a like a zircon would have, but the rest of the crystal structure is pretty misshapen. They come in all they come in just even in just like blobs like this. You can see there's a a bit of the existing structure left, but not much. These gloves don't even fit me. They're like way too big for my hands. <laughs> uh, there's a little zerk on there.
the zircon's mildly radioactive. This is from the Richardson mine, just outside of Wilberforce, which is now private property. And all the workings have been filled in. Very nice. Um, now this is all from the Saranac mine, the zircon showing. Um, a lot of these zircons are pretty radioactive too. They're in like a, a rotted quartz matrix. Uh, smoky quartz because of the radioactivity. But they have some very, very nice zircons there. Most of them are brown or black. Um, some some of it is just actually just loaded with zircon. Some of this stuff, hundreds of them in here. You can see some of them are very tiny. Um, this piece here. Yeah, it's got, you can see all those little black specks are all zircon. You can see where some of them were. They just fall out randomly because it's, the host rock is so rotted out. You can see all the radial fractures from the radioactivity. Look, pretty neat. I like them. They stay in here. Alright, uh, what else do we got? I got some down here. Uh, here's a uraninite little cluster of them. This is from the Cardiff uranium mine, which is now closed and is private property, so you need permission to get on there. There's a bunch of little little cubes there. Interpenetrating ones. It's pretty radioactive, this stuff. Um, what else? We've got a bunch of betaphytes here. This is all from Silver Crater, just small ones. That's a thorite from Saranac. People have questioned me if it's actually thorite. I'm not, just by the crystal form, I'm, I'm saying it is. I'm not 100% sure. It hasn't been analyzed. It is mildly radioactive. It's a small crystal, but I don't really know. Um, maybe one day I'll get it analyzed. It could be uranothorite. Um, another betaphyte. Another betaphyte. A thorite crystal from the Kemp Prospect. This one's crazy radioactive. It stays in there. It's got some crystal form to it, though. You can see the faces that are actually still on there. Okay, what else do we got? Uh, here's a little alanite crystal. From the barrel pit it's actually got some form to it you can see the chisel faces on it there the termination very rare to get a terminated crystal so that's pretty cool here's a big zircon from Saranac this one's probably about one, one centimeter long. Probably my favorite certolite from the Davis Quarry. That's outside of Bancroft as well. There's some uraninites from Cardiff, interpenetrating twins. That's coming open. Pretty neat.
This is also from the barrel pit. It's a Euxenite Y. And it's actually got some crystal structure there. Pretty neat. There's another one. Just mildly radioactive, these. This one's not perfect. Very hard to get out without wrecking them. Uh, what else do we got? This is pretty neat. This is uh, some uranophane. This is from the Madawaska mine. I'll actually open this up a bit, I think. see that they're just like little needles very very cool stuff Okay, and one of my favorites of all time. Um, <clears throat> me and my friend Michael, we found uh, we had permission many years ago at the Cardiff um, area to go on a property, and uh, we found, with the use of Geiger counters and and just prospecting, we found a, a really good hot spot, and um, it seems like it's like a like an anvil bowl mica almost like a diopside kind of colored matrix and we broke open a vein in this big interpenetrating twin uraninite was just staring us in the face Michael was the original owner for it but I traded it I found a big sort of light at Davis Corey, so we traded each other's specimens because I like this one and he liked the Zircon, so we just traded back. So, but we were both instrumental in the recovery of this one. Very nice, and you can see down here. <clears throat> there's also some more, and another one there. And I bet you if I probably etched that calcite, this was etched for a little while just to expose more of it. Um, but I bet you if I did etch, did some more etching on this, it would probably expose uh, some more. You can see there, there's also some nice little crystals there as well. So yep, that's uh, pretty much most of my collection. It, it's not huge. Um, I don't really want to get it too huge um, just because of the precautions you have to take. But uh, yep, yeah, it's pretty much just uraninite, betaphyte, uh, some secondary uranium minerals, uh, thorite, zircon. And that's pretty much about it. And that's pretty much what you can find up in Ontario for radioactives. I'm sure there's probably some more that I've missed, but. I'm not a professional in them, so, um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed watching, and um, you'll probably see some more uh, collecting videos in 2018. Thank you. Take care, guys.